bang for your buck? Well, you've come to the right workout. This is a compound workout, which means we're using multi-muscle, multi-joint to get an ultimate blast, work those muscles, get that heart rate up, and it's coming up right now. Good morning movers, it's Tracy of Move Daily Fitness and on this channel we're all about doing fitness, wellness and nutrition in sustainable ways for the long haul so consider subscribing. Okay, so you will require in this workout a variety of dumbbells. I'm going to use a small step, so if you have a small step or bench or box, feel free to use that. If you don't have one, it's not necessary, I'll show you modification. Also, I'm going to be using a moderate or medium mini band for a few exercises. Again, if you don't have it, not to worry, still do this workout, I'll show you a mod for that as well. Okay, here's your format. I'm going to give you five different exercises. We're going to circle through those just twice, okay? Each exercise is going to be done for 30 seconds worth of work, 15 seconds to rest and transition, okay? Make sure you have your water, your BCAAs, towel, whatever you need to get this workout on its way and we're going to start with the warm up right now. And I never know what to say, it always just kind of flows out of my mouth really fast. Okay, anyway, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Hey, if you're ready to go and you don't want to do this warm up with me, just jump to the number at the bottom of the screen and you can start right now. Otherwise, let's uh, pull that off my shirt and get started here. Reach up, squat down. Let's stretch it up at the top there. Come up onto your tiptoes as well, okay? We'll get those calves warmed up since we will be doing some jumping today. Wanna to make sure that we don't pull anything there. I had a client snap her Achilles this last year. Oh, poor lovey. Last one there. All right, let's take it wide and please arm stretch here. Anyway, we trained for a sport, which was like an intense, um, like strong woman meets tough mutter competition. Anyway, we had to do 50 box jumps for time. So on an 18 inch box, as fast as you can for time. And last one right here, open. Okay, we're gonna do one of those little lunge. Rotate over, 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 lunge. Okay, stretching in the glutes, getting hamstrings and hip flexors warm as well. Anyway, she did the first 50, faster than a minute, I think. I actually videotaped it for her. And as soon as she was done, they were like, sorry, that didn't count. The official timer forgot to press the stopwatch. Are you kidding me? So she's, she had to do it again. Oh, poor, poor girl, she just died. But during the second half, as she was doing it again, all of a sudden she heard a pop, and yep, Achilles was done. All right, back to standing. Here we go, up and stretch. So, that sucks. She had to have surgery um, to repair it. But you know what? She was so diligent about doing all her stretches, doing all of her supplements to help repair, taking it easy, focusing on upper body workouts, take it wide here. I was very proud of her for that. She, uh, she actually healed quite quickly considering. I just trained her this morning and uh, that happened in May. She did a full lower body workout this morning. Looked great. Still being a little careful with it, but almost as good as new. Okay, this time let's get down. Open up into the groin a little bit here. Grab your shoes. All right, let's stand and squat right here for 10. It's just proof to the fact that, you know, you can have an injury you don't throw the baby out with the bath water and start exercising all together. There's typically always something you can do to stay active, to stay moving, all right? If you injure your upper body, you work your lower in your abs and cardio. If you injure your lower, you're doing upper. You don't want to stop. Let's uh, throw in some ice skaters right here, again, just to get the heart rate up. Last little ones right here, and then we'll get started. Oh, I've had people that just Stop exercising altogether. I mean, you gotta listen to your doctor's advice, obviously. If they say, no, nope, you're out, then you listen. But nine times out of 10 is something you can do because it's the worst. Taking a whole gear off and then having to start back up again, isn't it? You just never wanna stop. All right, let's go for 10 more here. Nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, and one. All right, compound workout, multi-muscle, multi-joints. Grab your dumbbells, grab that little box or bench. We're getting started with that. Here's a preview of the first five exercises. All right, if you don't have a box or a bench like that, you can just do in and out squat jacks right there, okay? This will obviously make it more difficult, um, but whatever you have works. Ready and here we go, low squat, tap, low. Good, just 30 seconds here. We'll start you off with a bang, may as well, eh? It's the new year after all. Good, 10 more seconds here. Three, two, and time. Let's move that out of the way. Grab some dumbbells. I'm just gonna grab my fives, round one here. Double pulse squat, front lunge pulse. Okay, here we go. Pulse, pulse, lunge, pulse. Back to the squat, alternating front lunge. You got it. Bring legs. Front lunge is hard, isn't it? Always cause a little bit of hydrogen to accumulate in those quads. All right, whoa, shake it out. Move into that stationary hold, front raise, okay? One arm's out, the other one is working. Ready, hold it, and up. I'll call halfway here. Try not to swing that dumbbell on the bottom. Okay, up. All right, switch holds and down. Good. Try not to shrug the shoulder as well. Doing good there. Last one here. All right, bring that bench back for that plank jack. You don't have a bench, you can just do this on the floor, okay? All right, going into that plank jack. Feet are on top of your bench. You're jumping side to side, okay? You can tap as well to modify or again from the ground. All right, let's go. Yes, when he asks. That's it. Anyway, it was so entertaining. Like, I had tears, I laughed, my heart swooned. Back to the beginning. Squat jumps, get ready. Go. I recommend it. Well, maybe I shouldn't. If you don't like that kind, maybe you'll hate it. I liked it, let's just say that. Pretty long though, it's like almost two and a half hours. 
and we saw it in 3D, which means afterwards I had a 3D glasses mark in my nose for about an hour. <laughs> Last one. Yeah. It's hard. Okay. Two pulse front lunge squat combo. You ready? Start. Low, low, front. Two. Good. I'm just holding fives on this. Feel free to go heavier. <clears throat> That's pretty wussy fives. But my legs are burning right now, I don't know why. It's getting warmed up still, I guess. Good. Shoulder hold, iso hold. In three, two, let's go. We also saw that Holmes and Watson, the Will Ferrell movie. Gosh, it's like slapsticky humor. Not super my thing, switch sides, but uh, it's funny. It's stupid funny, you know? They, they broke into song in one part. They actually could all sing amazingly. That was funny. Three, two, there you go. Good, let's move into that plank jack. <clears throat> You're ready. There we go. Don't let the back sag on this one, please. Better to have your bum higher. Whoops. Whew, this is work. Yes. Whew, happy that was over. Two runners, sit up. In three, two, here we go. Have you guys seen any good movies lately? Um, did you all see the Bird Box? Bird Box on Netflix with Sandra Bullock. Did you see my little commercial that I <laughs> made with that over on Instagram? Anyway, if you're not following me on Instagram, head on over there after this at Move Daily Fitness. Follow me and you can see it. I thought that was a great movie too. Interesting. Last one here. A little bit scary, but not horrible. Okay. Great start. Join me back for circuit two. Here's your next five exercises. The first one you're starting on the side of a wall. 90 degree wall sit with an Arnold press. Shoulders back, pelvis tucked under. Arnold press and then a front press. Ready? And let's go. Up, bring it in, squeeze, up, and open. I've got my eights here. Whoops, just hit the wall. <laughs> That's different. Okay, careful. Last 10 seconds. You really want to push the small of your back against the wall on this because lifting weight overhead might cause you to arch it. Okay, moving on. Moving to that wood chopper. So I'm gonna grab a 15 pound dumbbell. You can hold it like this or like this. Or if you have a medicine ball, that works too. Wide feet coming low, high, 30 seconds aside. Let's go. Pop it up. Let's go here and press. Remember, just through twice, so work hard. It's not that long. Good. 
The last five seconds. All right, little break. I have no doubt I'll probably hit my knee at some point during this exercise, but I'm gonna try not to since I bruised like a peach. In three, two, other side, go, and up. Yeah, I just hit it. It's a hip thrust to get that weight up. Ten seconds. Okay, great. Bring your bench close. You're doing a V set side to side. Bring your bench or put a dumbbell there if you don't have one. You're rocking the side to side just like that. Ready? And let's go. Here, move. I want you to lay it all the way back out like I'm doing here. You want to modify single leg at a time like this. Okay, a little easier. Yeah, 15 seconds. A little hip flexor here. Three, two, and time. Woo! Good, come on to standing. We're gonna move to that toe tap double squat jump. Okay, so you're tap, 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 squat jump, squat jump. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, one, two. was in but if you did it if you remember this I can play like the whole time <laughs> didn't I well it's hard I was using 15s and it was heavy just like it is now but this is only two rounds today press go last one all right back to your wall sit I stick with my eights and try not to hit the wall this time. It's my goal. Ready? In four. 90 degree leg. Three, two, and press. Up, face, press, and. I have to concentrate on this guy. Especially that one. Makes me want to arch my back. Ten seconds. Three, two, ugh, good. All right, let's go to those wood choppers. I'm grabbing that 15 again. 30 seconds of sign on the wood chopper. Try to get as low as you can. I'm gonna actually switch my grip. Try this grip this time. Ready, in three, two, go. Low, I can get lower to the ground with this grip for sure. And I'll focus on my glutes a bit more. It's a squat though, not a deadlift, right? Get low. Don't let go of that weight though. That would be bad in these bears. 10 seconds here. Last one. Okay, that's good. Better grip for me, like this. All right, switching sides nice and wide. Then going down to the ground, remember. Ready, and here we go.
four seconds. One more here. Good, and that's 12 reps for me. Nice, okay. Down on the ground. Let's go to that side to side. V-sit. Get some heart rate up, ready, and work. Halfway. Yoo-hoo! It's feeling good. How are you guys doing? Good, Tracy, amazing! Woo! Excellent. Okay, four taps. Two squat jumps. Ready? Three, two, Go. Two, three, four, low, low. Five seconds. Favorite. Not my favorite. It's the 15th. It's hard to press, single side. Ready, work. Nice stay concentrating. Keep your core stable. Try to switch on the fly. Four, three, two, one. You. Yeah. All right. Quick water break. Join me for the next circuit. And here's a sneak peek at those next five exercises. All right, starting with the banded squat jump. Place the band above the knees. You're doing a narrow squat jump, open wide squat jump, okay? If you don't have the band, do it without. Ready, and let's go. Narrow, sit, wide, sit, sit. You're gonna leave the band here for that side lunge, squat, upright row combo, okay? Again, no band. No worries, just grab the dumbbells for the upright row part. 10 seconds. All right, good. I'm gonna grab my eights. Side lunge, dumbbells to either side of the knee. Come to center, squat, upright row. Ready? Here we go. Low, center, squat, and upright. Low, center, squat, up. Reach your hips back on that side lunge. Little Alexa, Alexia Clark move here. If you don't know her, check that out on Instagram. She does fun things. Okay, moving to that up down plank, ankle tap, plank position, elbow, elbow, hand, hand, reach, tap, tap. Here we go. One, two, three, four, ankle and ankle. Go. Push. Bring the bum back down, in between here, 
here, down, up, down. Good, see down here with that dumbbell travel move. Plank position. Place your dumbbell to the far right. Get into plank, grab it with the left hand, and then alternate. Here we go. About an eight pound. That's great on the shoulder. Abs, core, cardio. Woo! That is harder than it looks. Okay, stay down here for those donkey jumps, donkey kicks, donkey hops. I don't care. Call them what you want. Just get those feet in the air. Modify it by walking it up. Otherwise, we're jumping. Here we go. Shoulders. That was the problem. Not enough freight for the shoulders down there. That's okay, you do what you can. Take a break. Rest for a few seconds. Let's that lactic acid dissipate or the hydrogen in the cells sort of dissipate there. Seconds. Three, two, go. 
Halfway. Oh, brutal. You have moved daily in your compound workout. Got that heart rate up, worked those muscles. Proud of you. Hey, if you have like the wherewithal to do this again, do it. Just put this on repeat. I dare you. Let me know in the comments below if you're gonna do that, okay? Hey, and if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed. Now, if you can stay for a little cool down, I'm gonna do that right now. All right, lovely job. Let's put a foot in front, one behind, okay? Hands behind the back, lean forward, stretch that calf in the back, stretch the chest at the same time. 30 minute little compound love. That was great. I'd be really curious to see who'd put that on repeat to do it one more time. It would be easy to do, I just don't have time today. Switch sides. Okay, this time link around the arms, push the heel to the ground. I've got a lot to do. A lot to do. Uh, it's that week between Christmas and New Year's when I'm filming this right now. Wait, no, it's the week between January 1st and January 7th, but these kids are still off school, right? And clients are still, let's stretch up here, away on holidays. So I've had a few clients today, but we are launching our new program, so I'm getting everything all organized for that. There's lots of exclusive strength training workouts over there on the program that won't be shared here on YouTube. So if you're interested in building your strength, sculpting the body, changing your body composition, that's the program for you for sure, okay? That starts January 7th, and uh, I'll link a card at the top of the screen right here if you wanna check that out. Yeah, it's gonna be good. But anyway, I, bring an arm across. I've been doing a lot of uh, strength workouts for that. Lots of filming, lots of editing, so there we go. I'm a tired mama. <laughs> so, but this 30 minutes was great. Felt really good to move. I'm actually totally sweaty right now. Hopefully you are too. Bring the arm across. And uh, anyway, good to move. Hey, let me know what your New Year's thoughts are, what you want to do with your body, your health, your fitness this year. Let me know that in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. I think our community would like and enjoy hearing too. Arms back, thumbs down. Uh, what your goals are and uh, because I'm sure lots of us are in the same boat Maybe you want to change your body composition. Maybe you want to lose some weight here Maybe you want to increase muscle size. Maybe you want to have sexy shoulders sexy glutes who knows but I'd love to hear what your exact goals are because um, Well, I think I believe two two full things about goals sometimes people talk 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 it drives me crazy I see it on social media a lot. I see people every January making the goals. I feel like kind of saying, just shut up and do the thing. Like don't, don't announce it every year and then I see you and I watch you not doing it. Just dig deep somewhere inside of your secret self. Do the work that it requires to change and shift. I, I, then on the flip side, sometimes it keeps you accountable, right? But I haven't seen that as much. I think we should just some of those goals, maybe be accountable to one or two people, you know, like, like we are in my six week program, accountable to me, but to announce it all. Sometimes if you don't reach the goals that you had for yourself, then you feel really like you've let not only yourself down, but others down. And it might deter you from setting goals again next time. Stretch up over to the side here and then swing down below. So my thought about that is write them down for yourself and then do the work. Find the routine, create the strategies. Routine is huge, that is the thing. If you don't have a regular routine where you are moving daily and focusing on your nutrition, that's not gonna happen for you. It just won't, promise you, it will not. You've got to be stringent and dedicated and structured in that arena, okay? So even if after this workout video, you're just like, you know what, I'm sitting down, I'm gonna just kind of maybe highlight some of what I wanna do and change in the comments below. And then I'm gonna take my own journal and lay out a plan on how I'm gonna get there. And again, if you need help with that, come join our program because that's what it's all about. These next six weeks is getting you into a structure that's gonna hopefully change the trajectory of your life for the long haul, right? That's what I always say. Fitness, wellness, nutrition for the long haul. All right, right? You're gonna do it, right? All right, so go move daily in your fitness, wellness, nutrition. If you like these compound workouts, go ahead and click or tap the screen here or here for more like it. To check out that program, click right here. See ya.